What is up, Kobe Sharp, fifth grade teacher in Michigan. Welcome to my channel. I'm always trying to help kids fall in love with reading through awesome books. Each week I open up a bunch of the books that I got in the mail from authors, illustrators, publishers, and friends. And you let me know down in the comments which books you're adding to your to read list. Hopefully we can find some awesome things. Here we go. First up, yes, hope wins. Uh, this is a collection that is edited by Rose Brock. All of the pro proceeds from this book go to charity a collection of inspirational stories for young readers. You have creators like Tom Engelberger, Christina Suntornvad, Gordon Corman. Holy smokes, all kinds of amazing people. Vashti Harrison created that beautiful cover. Hope wins, I'm gonna have to read some of these. Maybe these would be great like little short pieces to read with my fifth graders as we get close to the end of the school year, definitely going to check out Hope Wins. Rose Brock is an amazing librarian in Texas. Let's see what we have next. Some books here from, we have these from Harper Collins as well. Okie dokie. First up, The Hurricanes of Weakerville. This looks, I, I, that's just says Colby Sharp, fifth grader would read this. From the author of The Fourth Stall. I loved that book when it came out. Comes the story of a ragtag professional baseball team and the kid who has to find some way to help them win. Well, that sounds fun. I love it. Adding that to my to read list. Very exciting. Oh my goodness, it looks so fun. I rise, uh, Mary Arnold. Look at that. Whoa. Looks beautiful, powerful, important. The true and amazing and heartbreaking and inspiring stories of real people written for you by you from the YouTube sensation with over a billion views story booth so it's from that YouTube channel pretending like I know what it is but I probably don't Shirley Shirley Marisol Rainey Aaron and Kelly's second book in this wonderful chapter book series read the first one probably gonna have to read the second one all right let's see what we have next this is from source books find something awesome tastic in here open it shouldn't be maybe i should reuse this what is this knife oh there we go one more take than i anticipated the other side of the river that's beautiful other side of the river blue baboon finds her tune Blue Baby finds her tune. That's fun to say. A couple more picture books. Black Boy, a Black Boy, Celebrate the Power of You. I was at TLA, and I guess that the authors were there, because I was hanging out with my friend Donald Miller, and she met them and said they were really good dudes. So that's exciting. I have to read this book. The illustrations are beautiful. Sunflower Sisters. Two friends learn to embrace their heritage and celebrate what makes them special get behind that look at this huge huge piece of cardboard let's see what's inside let's see what's inside all right a rose named peace how francis uh, mealand created a flower of hope for a world at war so some non-fiction there non-fiction for all you non-fiction lovers this huge box here a peach tree let's try to open this one up Let's see what we got in here. Wow, I'm just not cutting the tape well today. Okay, good box to put books back into. Drop one here. Big rig. Oh, trucking is a way of life, and this girl is in for the long haul. My dad was a truck driver my whole childhood until I was in high school. So uh, I gotta check this out. Life on the road is as good as it gets for Hazmat and her dad. Together, they've been hauling freight and crisscrossing the U.S. for years. Oh, I'm so intrigued. So I used to go trucking with my dad like a week in the summer, and I was always really fun and then I got really bored I just slept a ton like you're just riding around in that truck and just humming along oh so easy to sleep but I would think often what it would be like to be a, a truck driver now with the internet and cell phones and Netflix and 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 serious radio there's a lot more options so you're just gonna have to check that out uh it's got a swear word on it so I know sometimes my students watch this so 
H-E double hockey sticks followed with us. Probably should have to cover that, but it's all good. This looks like a fun young adult book. Flipping forward, twist, in backward, Elmo Fullerton. My kids are big gymnasts, so I might have to check this one out with them. My daughters, Mr. Penguin and the Tomb of Doom. <laughs> Mr. Penguin, check out Mr. Penguin. Train is common, Mr. Penguin. A Darkening of Dragons, Song of Magic. All the ingredients of a perfect fantasy adventure. Well, that's fun. The Ghost of Rose Hill. Looks like we have a lot of great fantasy today. Boys I Know. I really love this cover. A high school senior navigates messy boys and messier relationships in this bitingly funny and much needed look into the overlap of Asian American identity and teen sexuality. Sounds very, very good. The Boy Who Met a Whale from the author of The Girl Who Stole an Elephant. You probably recognize that style of cover art. And then finally, from this package, Impossible Destiny of Cutie Grackle. I mean, I love so many of these covers in this box. Cutie Grackle. This is a quote from Natalie Wood. Cutie Grackle is an authentic, enchanting, big-hearted character, brave enough to believe in the impossible. She'll make you believe in it, too. Okay, just do a few more of these. So we have it here. Then I gotta go to school. I usually don't ever film these before school, but I've been traveling. I was at a conference this week in Texas. So uh, yeah, I usually film them at night. I didn't really have any time this week. All right, Rube Goldberg, Simple Normal, Definitely Different Day Off. Oh, that's fun. A STEM book for you there. I love those Rube Goldberg things. Oh, this is fun. I love like packages, like when they get the fancy cardboard treatment. Are you ready? Cause she ready. Debut picture book from Tiffany Haddish. Well, congratulations, Tiffany Haddish, on your debut. Let's see what we have here. We all kind of vintage. Oh, anticlimactic. We got that. You got a little letter in here. You got the book, got a bunch of little frilly pay, uh, little, little frilly things. You got the picture of the creator on the back. Oh, she's a best-selling author and comedian. Did you know that? You probably did. I also did that kind of stuff. All right, well, how many minutes are we at? We're at about seven and a half minutes. We can do a couple more. Let's see what we have here. Three Little Pigs, Josh Funk! It's not the Three Little Pigs. I didn't see that. Josh Falk. What a dude. Congratulations, Josh Falk. And just pumping out these books. Let's take a peek inside. Want to take a peek inside? Oh, that's fun. Who oh, look, Four Little Pigs and the Not... Four Little Pigs and the Hot Air Balloon. Fun color. Huh. That's very fun, Josh. All right, this is just like a huge package. This is from my agent, Molly O'Neill. Let's see what she said. She has some really great products, so she's often selling me, selling me, sending me books by them, getting me excited to read them. Let's see what we have here. Okay, my parents won't stop talking. Oh no, I'm gonna read. I'm gonna read this one, like maybe at lunch to see if I can read it at the end of the day. My parents won't. Oh, it, it's okay. I've waited before. I'm amazing at waiting. No one waits better than me. No one. That sounds really fun. Then we have here, Brave Enough. Looks fun as well. Look at that cover. So much to look at. Monsters are just a bunch of phony baloney fantasy make-believe. No, they're not. My moms love me. Oh, look at that. Look at the joy there. Sweet babies in their mamas. Sloth sleeps over. We were having this conversation on the way back from TLA, Texas Library Association Conference. I was riding the airport with Donald Miller was taking my friend Travis Yonker and I there. Donald was saying, someone said that sloths are like the new thing, like the new really important character. Someone was telling her, like a kid, I think, the sloths are, sloths are in. So... I always get out of this last book. Dog's first baby and cat's first baby. I've heard my friend John Shu talking about these, so I have to check them out. We do this thing at school where we give books away to, we mail book, we will note from Molly. Uh, 
we give books away to families when they have a new child. Like if my fifth grader, if one of their family members, like their parent, has another kid, then we send a book home and have all teachers sign it. So cat's first baby, dog's first baby, I have to check those out. Anyways, I hope you found some good books. I got a lot of, of packages here left that I still need to open, but I gotta, I gotta go to school. So thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Kobe Sharp. I hope you have an awesome, fantastic day.